Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. No sweeter name. All power in heaven and earth is given to that name, Jesus. You may be seated this morning. I want to thank God for his goodness and for his mercy today in this house. I want to speak to you a little bit this morning about the hidden man of the heart. The scripture talks about this hidden man of the heart. It's where the true adornment of our spiritual being is. Now, when we talk about adornment, sometimes we think of the verse applying to women. And today, I don't want to really use it in that light, although women seem to be sometimes a little bit more caught up with the outer adornment. But really, the scripture is speaking about the inner man or the spirit of a man. So that applies to every one of us today. Amen. I have found this particular quote to be true. It says that there's three hearts within men and women. There's, there's a heart that is a false heart that is in the mouth, and that's for the world to see. There's another heart that lies within the breast to show to his special friends and family. And the real one, the true one, the secret one, which is never known to anyone except to himself alone, is hidden that God only knows where. And this was a secular writer, but it's the truth this morning that God only knows where that place is. That's why the scripture says that man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart of a man. He does know where that place is today. Amen. He does in fact know, and he looks on that hidden man of the heart. So in reference to this hidden man this morning, God would remind us today that according to Hebrews 4 and 13, it says, neither is there any creature that is not made manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him with whom we have to do this morning. Amen. So keeping these three hearts is it creates us quite a huge identity crisis sometimes in terms of both human and spiritual identity. And that false heart that is always in the mouth is always doing commercials for us, amen. <laughs> that false heart in the mouth is consumed with creating some kind of a hologram. It's kind of the picture that we wish that people would see. It's the picture that we want to be, that person that we're striving to be. And sometimes falling in love with, my, with someone might actually cause us to, to risk a little bit more and to open that heart that's within the breast or the chest, and which allows the risky part of us just to risk a little bit more and to maybe trust someone just a little bit more. But today, um, sometimes even when we fall in love, um, you know, we, we're not even sure about the other person. What heart have we fallen in love with? We, have we fallen in love with the heart that is in their mouth? The heart that they have only risked a little bit to show you? Maybe the heart that's within their chest? Or do we really know the true spirit of the person that we're seeking out? Amen. This is a caution to those that are looking for a mate even in times. Um, young people, older people, it applies to any age. Know that person. Know not just what they're saying with their mouth, not just what they're showing in front, not just the best foot that's put forward, but know the true inner spirit of a person today. Um, back in my day, there was a love song, and then this kind of tells how old I am, but Billy Joel used to sing this song. <laughs> and it says, honesty is such a lonely word because everyone is so untrue. Honesty is hardly ever heard, but it's mostly what I need from you. Amen. So, you know, it's, it kind of stuck with me all these years because it's so true spiritually as well. God is looking for truth in the inward parts today. So could this be the very reason that somewhere down in time in the future of eternity, God would look at some of us and say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I really never knew you. Amen. Peter found out that even when you think that you have perfected your story, even that when you perfect the act of telling a lie, your speech will still betray you. And so God is desiring one thing today in this house. Psalms 51 and 6 says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. 
So I ask you today, what's in the hidden man of your heart? What's in that secret place today? If you're a true man of God or a true woman of God, uh, the marks of truth are born in their body. The, the apostles that, that bore this doctrine, they said, I bear in my body the marks of Christ. Amen. So I'm asking you today, what marks are in the body? What marks and what things mark you as being identified with Christ today? They were stripes that they took because they, they identified with Christ, because they had identified with truth. And they were beating, they were beat because of the inner man that was revealed unto all other men around them. It says they became open books, read and seen of all men. And when they saw that they were truly sold out to Christ, they beat their bodies and they bore in the marks of, the, of those beatings. So today when I say, what are the marks that you bear in your body that identify you with Christ? Uh, did you get those marks by identifying with Christ or rather were you identifying with the world? Do the marks in your flesh show signs of identifying with Christ or showing signs of identifying with this world? And I want to leave you with one last scripture today, 1 John 1 and 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie. That's pretty simple right there. If we continue to walk in darkness and profess with our mouth to be a Christian, the scripture says we lie and we do not the truth. So today, God is requiring something at this altar this morning. I believe he's requiring truth on the inward parts. Amen. Not just what you confess with your mouth, but who you really are in that secret hidden man of the heart. And there's a fine line. Brother Grimsley said it while he was here. He said, what, what makes it to where some people obey the call of Christ? They do the will of God. And I can tell you today, today that that line is obedience. We must possess obedience from the heart, not something that we're forced to do, but we must be willing to serve with our heart, not with our mouth, not just with our feelings, not when we feel like it and sometimes not when we don't, but we really need to get our spirit in line. We need to be single in our heart and in our mind, single with his purpose today. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord.